Hey, hey everybody, Z Garcia here, and today we've come out to the latest location of Snakes and Lattes, this one called Snakes and Lattes Midtown. You have seen from us before Snakes and Lattes, especially the college location. But this is their latest one. So we're gonna go inside, take a look at it, and I'm gonna show you what there is to see. Here are some of the games you can spot just from the outside. These are for sale, though, of course, they have a library of lending games that you can just go in there and uh, play their copies of the games. But hey, if you like something, you can also go ahead and purchase it right here. So here we are between the first and second floor, of course. I'll give you another look at what's going on down there. You have lots of activity tonight. Wonderful seeing everybody gathered here tonight. And then up here on the second floor, lots more tables. We've got our own little group back over that way, hanging out, playing some games. Another small piece of lending library up here, besides everything downstairs. And then even a third little balcony space up there for uh, some more tables. So here we've got the upstairs area. This is uh, over there, sort of a private area in the top there. Little cafe counter there, tables as you can see. And then over here, we've got a selection of games. Right there, some games. We've got, there we go, then we got Tom Basil right there, look at that. And then over here, another area up these steps that gives you a few more tables. And then if we look here through the games, you can see the street down below, Starbucks out there. So there you go, that is the second floor. So this is a little cafe in the back, as I just pointed out. As you can see, it's very nicely laid out with all sorts of goodies and we've got the liquor over here beers on tap of course and still lots of light in here coming from the outside as well as lots of lighting above all of the tables themselves just like the other locations this new location shows you the category of game that you uh, would be picking up from the shelf, so you can go with cooperative or strategy games, of course, life strategy, abstract games there, party and dexterity, and so on. And then you don't need to put it back where it came from once you are done, because you can just return it over here to the game return area there, and they'll go ahead and sort it where it needs to go. Wipe my brow, miss what? <laughs> Alright, so we just completed yeah. our play of Manara. We had eight levels we had to do. And we've got indeed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels. Alright, I'm gonna start over here with Mandy. Mandy, how do you feel? Uh, a little bit stressed, but feeling good. Heart attack the board game. Heart attack the board game. I think is what we're calling it. We did it. Yes. Alright, Ryan. Well, you know, uh, it was a lot of training. We practiced for uh, maybe minutes before we got into this game. That's true. Uh, I mean, I think it was only a couple minutes. Mandy was an inspiration. I mean, Z, you did a great job. I Personally, I'm still trying to recover from my double heart attack that I had. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. But I want to thank the Academy. I want to thank the Academy. <laughs>
<laughs> Go ahead, buddy. We all believe in you. <laughs> I believe you gon' fail. <laughs> Got it. Huh? 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 Tell us how you feel. <laughs> Elated. Uh, so, do we need to topple this thing? What do you think? I think so. Hold on. Let's get a let's get a double video. I think I need topple. to get this on a on a topple mode here. You should probably do slow mo. That's what I'm doing. Slow mo. Ooh. There we go. All right, here we go. Mandy, would you like to do the honors? Nice, nice and low. Just real nice and low. Nice and low. Quick, pink and poor if you want to. <laughs> yeah! Chaos! So this is what just happened. We just played Huns and Brian won it again. We played once before and Brian won it last time as well. There he is. So Brian. Yes. I'll talk to you last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyler. What did you think of the game? Uh, it was great. Um, I liked it. I liked the fact there was different strategies. I chose one that was different from everyone else. Yeah, we all almost did very paid, different things. Almost paid off, but uh, I liked that it was close at the end. Anyway, no one ran away with it. Yeah, yeah. And the mechanics were fun. Too, so. Cool. Yeah. So he, uh, Tyler, went for a lot of the golden cards there, and you have to qualify for a thing, and then they give you victory points. Oh, uh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Mandy, what did you think? I liked it. I was worried for a bit, based on how many cards he has, that I was going to be really far behind, but it was really nice tight scoring in the end. Yeah, absolutely. So, as you can see, let me show you this again. The difference between the lowest score and the highest score is three points. Three points. All right, and Brian, fine. We'll talk to you. Yeah, fine. Talk with if we have to. We have to. Um, a really enjoyable game. It's quick, easy to teach. Uh, two games I played now, I did go for the same strategy. It did put me in the leading position. However, the second game was definitely closer uh, with Tyler going after the the cart gold cards. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That made a, that made a difference. Um, but yeah, very enjoyable game, especially if you uh, if you like the rating. I love to rain. He, well, yes, he does. Love the rain. And I tried a little bit of everything, I think, is what I ended up doing. And that worked out well, too. I got second place there. But again, they're so close. Everybody's score is very, very close. So there you go, everybody. That is Huns. All right, so we just finished playing Blue Moon City right there. We actually built every location, which doesn't actually happen that often. And I was able to squeak out a win over there, just barely, with playing the white cubes. So, we're going to go around the table and get some impressions. We're going to start over here with Matt, the illustrious Matt. Hello. What do you, you think, Matt? First time playing, right? Yeah, first time. I liked it. It's, uh, it's interesting. I'm going to need another play to really get my head around it. You, you almost had the rules by the end there. <laughs> it's very close. Come on, now. It's very close. A couple more plays, you should have it down. Okay, cool. Excellent. All right, we're going to go right over there. Tell them Excellent. what you thought. I really enjoyed it. Another Kinesia that I like. Yeah. Um, you normally like his games? Yes, I do. I would say it would be probably better if I understood that one card every that one, single time. That one card. Yeah, you found some of the iconography a little bit tricky, right? Just one. Just one card, yeah. <laughs> and I know you found some of the iconography a little bit tricky, but really just sort of how to win in general. Yeah. Win, winning is tough. <laughs> I started off so strong. But I like the game a lot. I'm a big Kinesia fan. This is one that I'm going to have to try and track down and get a copy of. I, well, I uh, it it's very out of print, but hopefully it'll come back into print. Because uh, I think it's a great game. It was actually nominated for Spionus Jaris. And then for some reason, it's very out of print. It really shouldn't be. It's a fun game, simple, about an hour, lots going on in it. That is Blue Moon City. All right. What are we doing? So we just played in Las Vegas, and uh, we played a variant that our good friend over here, I'll show you in one second, taught us, in which we're rolling simultaneously and then just hiding your dice. It's very fast, a little confusing, but very fast. We have our winner right over there. <laughs> First time playing, destroyed it. What did you think of the game? I loved it. It was so fun. It's yeah, it's fun, it's fast. It's quick uh, and easy to learn. Very simple, yeah. Competitive in a good way. 
Very mean, right? Yeah. Very mean? Very mean. A little too mean. I, I feel taken advantage of. Right. I feel taken advantage of. Like I've been to Vegas. A co-op game is in order, a I believe. A co-op game is in order, yes. All right. What, okay, but you enjoyed the game. I, I did enjoy the game, yeah. Very good. Very nice. What did you think? I love the game. For me, it can't be too mean. <laughs> so more mean is what you're more saying. More mean, yes. Yeah, and you've played before, though, right? I have right? not played this before. Oh, okay, excellent. Very nice. Very nice. All right. And then we have our, our variant master over here. <laughs> Can't take credit. Someone else taught me that. Yeah, yeah. Well, someone taught me too, but I'm taking credit. There you go. Oh, wait. This video is going to post somewhere. Never mind. I'll just I'll edit this part out. No. Say there's the delete. Uh, what do you think of the game? You've played before, obviously. I, I played a bunch of times. I got taught this a few years ago. I love the game. I love it for myself. It is a regular. When I yeah. have friends, it's, it's a go-to. So. Yeah, it's one that, yeah, it's definitely got that quality. Like you said, it's one I use a lot with my family as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's very simple. It's language independent, not a lot of reading. And you can teach it in five minutes, play in 30 or so, and it goes over really well. So that's going to be it for Vegas, guys. All of you, thank you very much. Thanks for playing. And we are done. This is the last thing I'm doing here. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.